crap myself. <laughs> you crap me up. <laughs> That's a nice looking thing of crappy and pet. How many are you going to eat? I think we've probably got enough. Why don't we catch a couple more and I'll bring a couple home. Just because I was going to make a crappy stew. I'll add a few more because I got fillets from yesterday. I can't see why I wouldn't want to take one more cast right over here. One thing you want to do is you don't want to ever take more fish home than you can handle in one night. You can always practice catch release. One perch, two perch, three perch, four perch, five perch, Ooh, five perch, six perch, seven perch. There might be more, but I'm gonna hold them at seven. One cut. Two cut. Oh, slab cut. I think this is, are these black crappy or white crappy? I think they're black crappy. Black crappy. Yeah. That's 12. That's another beauty. Seven patch, 12 crappy, and two bluegill. I don't think that's over harvesting. I think it's proper pond management. Now let's go see ladies. Bill, the only problem you got is your live one's gonna be slimy. Slimy. I wonder where he's slimy today. Put on the brake. And pull. Well, we're back, and I've got my daughter, Sarah, is here now, and Sarah's not feeling too good today, that's why she didn't come out with us. Hey, Bill. Yeah? What do you want, Les? I wonder if you could introduce my dog, Conehead. His <laughs> name is Kona. Kona had a little mishap. Kona, you're the fishing dog. What are you doing? Yep. Yeah. That's it, Kona. Bless you, God, Kona. Got a little pot. Oh, dog. She likes this dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Five more days of being held cone head. <laughs> Sarah, we're going to go fishing pretty soon, are we? We're going to go out and catch some crappy. Mm. Yeah. All right. I'll show you what happens to these carcasses so that you realize that not all goes to waste. A lot of it goes into the compost bin, which goes into the garden, which creates uh, an organic uh, compost for the proliferation of seeds uh, in the harvest of vegetables that are planted by my good friend Lester. Thank you. you do that
That's it. We compost. We catch only what we're going to eat. We don't freeze fish unless it's ocean. We eat them. We compost them. We turn them back to the earth. We'll go catch some more. That's nice. Well, I'm sitting here in front of my good friend Lester's garden. One of these days, one of these shows, we'll, we'll show you how Lester and myself do our organic gardening. I'll show you how Lester and myself do organic gardening. I perform it a little bit different than Lester as I have raised beds for my vegetables while he plants directly into the earth. Uh, he has better soil, I have rocky soil, so I had to import my loam to uh, proliferate the seeds into a fall harvest of vegetables, turning them into that and to the, uh, a plant tomato sauce. You name it, we do it. We mix it with everything we catch. Like he said, we don't waste it. Uh, and that's about it. We'll see you at our next show. Uh, perhaps we'll do a little bit of cod fishing as we're headed out to the ocean in two weeks with Oggy Doggy, my son. That's it. My name is Bill. I follow my friend Lester and his dog Kona. Kona. We'll see you later. And Sarah went for a walk.